Buhay everyone! Marches here, welcome to the channel and for today's video, I'll be giving you my performance review of the Player One from Series Players Only. Let's go! Guys, before we start with the performance review, I would just like to remind you guys, if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please do so, click the subscribe button down there and of course the notification bell for the updated videos that I upload, especially the performance review. And guys, first up is this. I know a lot of you have been saying that it looks like a Kobe. And yes, let's get that out of the way. And the Serious Player One company are actually Kobe fans and they really wanted to bring back the feel of the Kobe 9, 10, 11, that series. I think it's from 8, 9, 10, 11, which is a drop in midsole, insole, and there's not much in the market right now with that kind of tech and that kind of feel like a Kobe. So they made their own and it's Kobe inspired and this is actually the first colorway. This is uh, the flow like water, of course, the famous Bruce Lee phrase in his movie and it has the yellow and black, which is also uh, the Bruce Lee colorway if you are a fan of the Kobe sneakers. And Serious Players only company is actually a startup company and I'm really impressed in the first sneaker that they came out. So let's talk about the materials of the sneaker. So the Player One basketball sneaker features like a knit upper that is really, really thin. And the knit upper is actually fused and kind of looks stretchy, but it isn't. The cables, these threads are really, really rigid. So when you're doing lateral cuts, especially around the lateral part of the sneaker, your foot won't be going anywhere. And even this black piece here, the black threads on the upper part are actually for durability and extra support of the sneaker. And it goes out to the four foot lateral part of the sneaker. So it kind of holds your foot really and contain your foot well in this area. And of course, the durability of the sneaker is coming from this fuse piece here on the edge of the toe area, which runs from the forefoot tip of the toe and it goes to the lateral part and runs up to the heel part of the sneaker. And even on the middle side, you can see it's here. So it adds durability to the sneaker and actually helps in the containment. And when you're doing lateral cuts, I mean, even though this is a really thin upper, it kind of gives you the feel of the Jordan 36. Uh, what do you call that? The Lino Weave upper of the Jordan 36. It kind of feels like that. It's really thin, very, very nice ventilation and ultra, ultra supportive, which is really, really surprising in this Player One sneaker. And around the lace loop, there's also some fusing around the lace holes here. And on the lace holes, you can see this plastic piece. So it gives extra lockdown and of course, durability to the lacing system of the sneaker. And it's actually back to back. The lace loops are back to back, so it's pretty durable. It's very well fused and the tongue of the player one is perforated from the tip. And I don't know if you can see the holes here, but it has actually holes for ventilation. It's an open celled foam and it's well padded. It's not too thick, but it's not too thin. It's comfortable when you're really cranking up the laces. When I was really trying to crank up this laces, especially on the first wear because of how thin the materials are. I didn't have any discomfort around the ankle part of the player one, which is actually very nice in the tongue of the player ones. And moving on to the heel part of the sneaker, which is a really low cut sneaker. And even though the padding is not too thick, but it has a very nice curve to it. And it really contains your ankle very well. And there's an external heel piece here, which is very similar to the Kobe system and it kind of contains your foot really nicely, even though it's a really low to the ground and really low cut sneaker. So you're very well contained around the heel. And of course, the insole, midsole is a drop in. 
So let's put them out. So this is a drop-in midsole. So it's the Evan Launder calling. So it's like EVA foam. But what's nice about this one is they added this nitro piece here, this puck or nugget is bigger than a puck. But this puck is for more impact protection, this gray piece. And even on the heel, you can see that nitro injected foam is also here, plus this puck for impact protection. And the combination of this three is, I mean, very well thought of, very well made. They really put the nitro injected foam where you always hit the ground when you're jumping so that you'll have a bounce back around the forefoot or the ball of your foot. So when you're jumping, it doesn't just give you a bounce back, but also impact protection. And it really feels nice for a very low cut sneaker or a very low to the ground sneaker rather. It feels nice. It has enough cushion, enough bounciness, and it felt better than the Kobe 8s as I remember. And I haven't, I didn't try the Kobe 9s, but it's better than the 8s because the 8s were just EVA foam. The Phylon was bottoming out. And this one, even though the Evanlon will eventually bottom out, but you will still have that nitro injected foam here. And when you're pressing it, you would feel the difference. This one is more mushy, while this one gives a little bit more bounce back. Yeah, there, the strength system. That's what they're calling here. And Another piece that helps out in the cushioning is this ADAPT equipment, which I tried to experiment. I removed the, this one, this piece, on my other pair, and it really made a difference in the cushion. This gives you extra impact protection and a little bit more bounce back to the cushion. It's like they're interacting all together when they're in one piece, so you will feel the impact protection, then the bounciness, then more impact protection below. While if you remove this, you will really feel low to the ground. And if you want something like that, you can just remove this piece and it will really give you extreme responsiveness on the court, but the cushion will be a little bit muted. So for me, I like it with this one because with this one, it's still ultra responsive already. So I prefer to have a little bit more impact protection for my cushion on the player one. As for the outsole of the player one, it has herringbone pattern, no frills, and it has a cut here. So I think for more movements and the herringbone pattern, man, the traction, it's pliable. So I don't think um, outdoor use, I won't recommend this for outdoor use because there's some small nubs here in between the herringbone pattern. So that might um, rip off on outdoor courts. But on indoor court, man, no need to wipe, even though the court here is a bit dusty. I didn't need to wipe it that much. I was reviewing two sneakers today, and this one, I didn't need to wipe it, while the other one, I need to wipe it every so often. So, traction on this one is very, very dependable. And in a clean court, when I played this on a clean court, man, it was gripping really hard. It's gripping really hard if you're into that. And there's a carbon fiber plate for stability in the midfoot. And it's just a small piece. Uh, that's what I thought, told the serious player who won that um, hopefully they'll uh, come out of a higher version or uh, an ultra version of this one with a full length carbon fiber. I think that will really, really change this and level it up a bit more. But right now, Man, the traction and the heel-to-toe transition of this one is pretty, pretty nice. And it has a very nice lateral outrigger too for stability. So when you're doing lateral cuts, you're very well stable here. And, and you can get your balance easily with the player one, given that it's also a low to the ground sneaker. And plus the huge lateral outrigger, even though this is kind of a narrow sneaker, but the lateral outrigger really gives you the stability that you need on the sneaker. As for the sizing of the player one, uh, I was actually requesting them for the US 11 at first, but it sold out and I opted the 10.5 and I saw the Euro of the 10.5, it's 44.5, which I think is my actual size. 
So if you are planning to cop this pair, like I said, for most um, Chinese brand, go with your Euro size for your recent basketball sneaker, and I think you're good to go with that. The price of the player one is around $140, exclusive of shipment and taxes. So if you want to cop a pair, it's available at seriousplayersonly.com. And I think this one is actually sold out. This is a numbered pair. This is, I think, I know there's a number here. Yeah, number 0791. So that's my pair. And this colorway is the first colorway that they launched and um, they said that they're releasing more colorways of this one. And I saw the colors. I like the pink one and the all white one. So good job, Serious Player One. You really made an awesome shoe on your debut sneaker. And I think with this one, you will gain more following and if you haven't tried this if you want to try other brands and if you're a Kobe fan and you've been waiting to cop a Kobe sneaker and you didn't have any chance because of the hype in the Kobe 6 Kobe 5 Pro Throws I think this is a must try guys not because um, they let me try this but really serious that I'm a serious player <laughs> really serious on the performance review of this if you are a fan of a Kobe sneaker, which is very, very nimble, very responsive, very light. And actually, I weighed this before I went to this game. And the player one's weight is 335 grams. So that's the lightest basketball sneaker that is out now in the market. It's ultra light. So when you're playing, it feels like the first time that I wore it, I remember the first time that I wore my Kobe 8s, so I was using the LeBron all throughout and when I bought the Kobe 8s before and it was I was really shocked by the weight and this gave me the same feeling on my Kobe 8 so if you want a light sneaker if you're a guard a shifty guard you will surely love the sneaker and even for a big man the cushion for this one if you're a nimble big man eh? if, if you are a very quick agile big man you will also like this sneaker so that's it on my performance review of the player one from serious players only congrats again very nice debut basketball sneaker let me know what your thoughts are on the sneaker and i'll put the link down below where you can buy this so this has been marches once again thank you for dropping by this channel catch you in the next one cheers